Well, when I came to Power Rangers and that of my other favorite hero, Spider-Man, I combined them both to create my own version called Mutation Warriors, which takes place in 2045 where four average teenagers, two guys and two gals, were infected by chemical waste and as they struggled with high school, they also learned their interesting, powerful abilities while protecting their city from their menacing foe called the Suppressor. Hello, I'm Greg Sindel. I'm a cartoonist of Studio A and I'm only 33 years old. I'm a cartoonist, story writer and a voice actor, if you will. Since I was 14 in 2002, I was a part of Studio Art before Studio A. Well, they help people with autistic disabilities or autism, if you will, to make it short. They help us to turn our ideas into something known as reality. Studio A is about making high quality art first and foremost. We're known as a supported studio and we provide professional pathways to artists with intellectual disability. We're about ensuring that Australia has a truly diverse art scene and that artists that we support have a voice in contemporary culture and also that they're able to make an income from their work, that they're able to be employed as artists. When we sell their work, we ensure that a high percentage of the commission goes to the artists. Studio A helps me to realise that I'm still human, I'm still like everybody else, just think differently and speak differently, but it doesn't mean I'm not different from everybody else. They helped me to make my art become more professional because they made some good suggestions how to make my art evolve from a prehistoric egg to a fully grown dinosaur to an Rex though, if you will. Is it nice being able to make comics as a career? Of course. I want people to buy and publish them and hopefully with the film directors like Tim Burton and film actors, my favourite guy Samuel Jackson, they would beg me or ask me to see if they have my permission to reject them into something you can see on telly or at the movie cinema screen. That would be a great dream come true as a script producer. So how would you feel if you worked at like McDonald's or in a regular job? I wouldn't be that happy because I lived my art and story since I was a little kid. My life would be like well pointless. My project of mine I was most proud of making is this, Wealth in Chinatown. Inspired by my love for werewolf movies and out of my favourite Chinese takeaway meals for tea, Werewolf in Chinatown is about a young photographer named Caitlin Roberts who is one night being bitten and cursed by a werewolf after a job interview in Dusky Fields, Chinatown, now goes on a beastly transformation of each full moon unless a temporary cure for her affliction can be found or soon discovered. I produced eight books so far, but 17 and counting because I don't have them published as yet, but I hope I will. Stanley, the guy who did those Marvel comics, oh, he was extraordinary. Now heaven rest his soul. I would have liked to meet him so long ago because he's lying, Excelsior! He was so great and he even had his comics adapted into movies and cartoon shows and I wonder if I might have the same luck as he did with his stuff also. It's just been amazing to watch the artists transform, to hear the artists self-identify as artists. And when people admire their work, they're the first ones to say, oh, that work's for sale. Would you like to buy that work? To see artists get opportunities to do international residencies and use their own income to travel overseas. I have a very personal relationship with a lot of the artists and you know they give me a call on my mobile or text me and Studio A artist Megan Pelham who recently did a collaboration with Romance Was Born, she just texts me all the time saying that her dream has come true and she's a supermodel and she is famous and uh, she just is an explosion of joy really with the opportunities that she's been getting. My fans, if you're out there, even the movie actors Samuel Jackson and all the other guys I like, I'd like you to know my heart would be so grateful if you know me well, even from around the world. And if you ask me, I really am glad to have your heart and support.